Are your worms suffering from bloated bellies or bursting intestines? It may be protein poisoning, a really nasty problem that could destroy your worm population. We'll talk about how to identify and prevent protein poisoning on today's short episode of Coffee and Compost. My name is Steve Churchill, and this is the Urban Worm Company. Protein poisoning is a debilitating problem that can devastate your worm population. It's like food poisoning for worms, but a lot more lethal. It happens when the food in the worm's gut ferments and creates gases that literally blow up a worm from the inside. So what causes protein poisoning? It's all about diet and digestion. A lot of you may know that amino acids are the building blocks of protein. So if you add too much grain-based, uh, protein-rich food like worm chow, the acidity will increase as the microbes begin breaking down that protein. If the worms don't have enough calcium in their diet to neutralize this acid, the food passes into the intestine in an acidic state and starts to ferment. This fermentation releases deadly gases that the worms can't handle, and it causes their intestines to rupture. Thankfully, protein poisoning, which is also called sour crop or string of pearls, is not a communicable disease. It's simply a reaction to a high protein diet and an imbalanced environment in the worm bin. So how can you prevent this? The answer is simple. Reduce Reduce the amount of grain-based food, sprinkle agricultural lime or calcium carbonate in your vermicompost from time to time, and add two parts bedding to one part food waste in your worm bin every time you feed. If you suspect you've got protein poisoning now in your worm bin, go ahead and remove those worms from that environment. Of course, they're going to die anyway, and they'll probably just kind of just become part of the vermicompost, but you may just want to remove them anyway. You should add plenty of fresh bedding to your bin. Take out any undigested food, because that could be causing the problem. Sprinkle the surface with lime or calcium carbonate it as well. We talked about how that can increase the alkalinity and provide your worms with the calcium that they need to help neutralize that acid as it moves into their gut. It's as simple as that. Real quick guys, if you're enjoying this video and you want me to make more of them, please like this video, hit subscribe, click that little bell to let you know every time we release a new video. And also, I've got an insane resource that you can download right now. It's a PDF version of our ultimate guide to vermicomposting where we cover everything from the basics of vermicomposting, how to start and maintain a worm bin and prevent bad stuff like protein poisoning. And we also talk about the financial opportunities in vermicomposting and much more than that. Click this little link above my left shoulder and you can sign up to get that guide immediately. And I'm telling you, this isn't a cute little PDF. It's over 60 pages long. So it's more like a book book rather than an ebook. All right, that's it. We're gonna see you on the next video.